Hello YouTube. Today I'm sharing my reduced sugar pineapple jam recipe. You'll be needing pineapple juice, 4 cups, and 3 20 ounce crushed pineapple. You can use Walmart brand, Dole, whatever, Del Monte, whatever you, know, you decide to use. Uh, they're all, I think, good product. I used a Walmart brand crushed pineapple and some Dole pineapple juice. You'll add your four cups of Dole pineapple juice to your, I used an eight quart stock pot because when it boils it does rise up and you want to make sure you don't have a boil over and have an accident. So this does give you some space to watch for it to boil and that way it doesn't boil over on you. Add your three cans of crushed pineapple, your four cups of pineapple juice, and you're going to add one tablespoon of butter. The butter keeps the juice from foaming when it boils and you add your pectin and sugar and all to it. Keeps even having to skim the top of your jars and get all that little foam off of it before you seal them up. Also get your water boiling. You're going to need to water bath can this jelly after it's done for 12 minutes. Measure up your 5 cups of sugar and your 8 teaspoons of Pomona's pectin. Pour it on top of your sugar and take a spoon and stir it in real well into your sugar mixture. When you add this to the boiling mixture, it keeps it from clumping up if you've added it into the sugar. You'll want to bring your juice and your pineapple, crushed pineapple, to, to a rolling bowl for two minutes. After it's came to a rolling bowl for two minutes, you're going to add your sugar and pectin to the mixture. And bring it back to a rolling bowl while you're stirring the whole time. That's what a rolling bowl is. You can stir it and it continues to boil. After it's boiled for two minutes, you'll take and put eight teaspoons of the Pomona's calcium water into it and do the same again. Keep stirring it and boil it for an additional two minutes. After it's boiled the additional two minutes with the calcium water, remove it from the heat and you're going to ladle it into your sterile jars and place your hot lids on and seal them down snugly according to the recipe, excuse me, the directions of the jars that you're using most of the directions say to put them on finger tight. You're going to again water bath can this jelly for 12 minutes. The pan I chose to use only held seven jars so I took my instant pot out and placed two cups of water in the bottom of the instant pot with the grate and put my last three jars in the instant pot and steamed them for 20 minutes. You'll steam 20 minutes if you're using the Instant Pot to water bath can your jelly or you'll water bath can it for 12 minutes at a steady boil. After it's each water bath can, remove them from the heat, place them on a towel to cool. When they've cooled completely, label your jelly and you can put it away. I do remove the rings and wipe down my jars before I place them uh, into the cabinet. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If we can help you out in any way, uh, send me a message through the comments. I do answer all comments. Give us a thumbs up, please, for the video and join our channel. This is The Pressured Prepper, and I'm out.